Thank you, Gabo. Okay, so I have it here. Okay, very good. Thank you, Belize. Okay, so we have the, the process paragraph, right? So we're going to do something step by step, step by step, and we're going to organize this, okay? This type of reading, it says, is called a step by step instruction. So we're giving instructions a step by step. That is a process paragraph. Now, what is the advantage? Is that this is a how to, how to, right? So what are we doing a how to paragraph? We follow instructions. We follow a step by step instructions, okay? Of how to do something. It can be, for example, it says a cooking recipe, okay? A cooking recipe, or it can be home appliances. It can be work ethnic, writing assignments, anything, right? That has to do with a how-to subject or matter. Yes, Alexandra? Alexandra, you wanna say something? Okay, I guess no. <laughs> okay, so what I want you to remember, right, about this. Okay, okay, no problem, Alexandra. What I want you to remember about this is that this is a how-to process, right? That is why it's called a process paragraph. We're going to follow a step-by-step -step instructions about how to do something, okay? For example, I can do, um, I can write, a process paragraph about how to write an essay. That can be a process paragraph, how to write an essay. Because Why? Because writing an essay has its process. That's why, okay? You can write about anything that has a process. Can somebody else help me read this slide, please? Somebody else. Somebody, volunteers? If not, I'm going to say it, okay? Marta, Marta, can you help me out? Are you there, Mar Marta? Uh, can I? Okay, go ahead, Milena, thank you. Okay, take time. Be sure to take some time and think about the element you want to write about. Be sure that you are knowledgeable about the element you choose so that your process analysis instruction will be clear for the reader. Be sure to draft out your step-by-step -step instruction for the element that you are writing about. Very good, Milena. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. So now, it says, first of all, the element that you write to that you want to write about, right? It's the same. This 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 process right here is similar to the previous one, right? Because you have to decide first the element that you are going to be writing about. Okay. Okay. After that, be sure you are knowledgeable. Okay. So it means that you have the knowledge that you have. Uh, the information for writing about that, okay? Now, it says, be sure to draft out your step-by-step -step mm -hmm. instructions, okay? So you are going to make a draft or your instructions. You're going to say, okay, first, I will do this. Second, I will do this. Third, I will do this. Fourth, I'll do this, okay? So, step-by-step -step instructions for the element that you are writing about. Now, this is very, very, very simple. Let me just move on here. Okay. This is the process. It's similar, but not the same. Okay, it's similar to the illustration paragraph, but not the same. Let's take a look. It says letter A. Write one clear topic sentence that states the element that you are writing about. Take a look to the example at the same time. It says the element. 
My grandmother's famous bread is easy to make. Okay. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about a cooking recipe. Okay. A cooking recipe. Cooking what? Bread. Okay. Bread. It says, my mother's famous bread is easy to make. That is the topic sentence. Okay. Now it says, in this sentence, try to include how many steps there are for your instructions. Now you are going to include it says the steps that you are going to use for, for doing that, for doing the, the process, right? It says it can be done right here. Take a look. It can be done in three easy steps. So we are going to talk about only three steps this time, right? But it can be more than three. I mean, it can be more than three. It says right here, there should be at least three steps and no more than six. Okay. You can write more than three steps, but no more than six. Okay. Because if you are, if you're writing more than six steps, I mean, the paragraph is going to be too long. That's why it can be three, three or six, no more. Okay. So that is the, the, the first, the letter A, right? Let's go to letter B. It says, Write one sentence that tells the first step in this process. Now, the first step in the process, we're going to write it down in the first sentence. It says, the first step is to lay out all of the ingredients, okay? So we have all the ingredients here, okay? We are laying out all the ingredients, okay? So that is the first step. That is the first step. And that is in the sentence for letter B. Now let's go to letter C. It says, write one or two sentences that provide an explanation. Now, remember that in the illustration paragraph, we were writing one or two sentences that provide um, an example, right? About why we like or dislike something. Now we are writing one or two sentences that provide an explanation or an example of this first step. Right, an explanation. So, okay, the first step is laid out all the ingredients. So how am I going to do that? How? The question is how, that, that is why this is a how to paragraph. How am I going to do it, right? So it says, the ingredients include flour, water, sugar, yeast, salt, money, and two eggs. Okay, there we have the ingredients. Now it says, laying out these ingredients will allow you to stay organized when baking the bread. It says right here, your explanation should tell, should tell what this step involves and why this step is needed. Okay, take a look to this. We're saying why the step involves. Why the step involves? It involves all the elements, flour, water, sugar, cheese, salt, honey, and two, and two eggs. That is what the step involves. Now, why the step is needed is this other part. It says, laying out these ingredients will allow you to stay organized when baking the bread. Okay, say what it involves and say why it is needed, All right? So letter C is very important, okay? Letter C is very important. Take a look to that. Now let's move on. Let's move on to letter D, E, and F, okay? Letter D, E, and F. It says, letter D, using a transitional phrase, write one sentence that states the second step in your process using a transitional phrase. The transitional phrase is this, the next step, that is the transitional phrase, okay? The next step in baking my grandmother's famous bread is to mix all the ingredients in a mixing bowl. It says, we are mentioning here the second step, okay? What is the second step? Mix all the ingredients in a mixing bowl. That is the second step, okay? Now it says, letter E, 
write one or two sentences. So we're repeating the process again, right? We're repeating the process. Take a look here. Write one or two sentences that explain your second step. Again, it says again. So your explanation should tell what the step involves and why it is needed. Again, what it involves, why it is needed. Remember that. What it involves, why it is needed. So it says the best way to mix the ingredients is to mix, to mix the flour and water first. Okay? So I'm explaining right here the second step, right? I'm explaining it. And then add all other ingredients while mixing. Okay? I'm explaining the second step. Okay? What it involves. It involves mixing all the ingredients. Why it is needed, it says right here. This mixture will help blend all the flavors together. This is the reason why it is needed because it will help us blend all the flavors together. That's why. Okay, let's go to letter F. It says, using another transitional phrase, this is the transitional phrase. The final step, okay, that is the transitional phrase. The final step, write one sentence that mentions your third step in your process. It says, for this bread is to bake it in the oven. This is the third step, bake it in the oven, okay? Now, I'm going to, in this type, in the next letter, I'm going to repeat the process again. I'm going to write a sentence that explains the third step, and I'm going to say what it involves and why it is needed, okay? Let me just show you that. Okay, we got it here. Letter G, write one or two sentences that fully explains your third step, okay? The sentences that explain the third step. In letter G, it says, when ready bake to bake it, you should, pre you should preheat the oven to 450 Fahrenheit, and then bake the bread for about 30 minutes at this same temperature, okay? So that is what it involves, right? And now why it is needed, because it says right here, I'm sorry, because this temperature and baking time will allow the bread to cook while keeping all of its moisture. Therefore, the bread will not dry out, okay? That is why it is needed, okay? That is the why. And letter H says, Write one closing sentence that seals off your paragraph, okay? Now we're going to close the paragraph here. It says, finally, this is a transitional phrase, the bread is ready to serve. So take it out of the oven, let it cold, cut it, and enjoy. That is the final and the closing sentence, okay? It says right here, no, if your process analysis has more, it says done right here, this should be a letter A, okay? More than three steps, then simply carry on after letter G and use the same format that happens in B and G, okay? So you are going to follow the process, this process. Let me, let me just show you again. So what we got here, what we got here in letter D, for example, letter D and E, we are repeating the same process for, it doesn't matter how many steps your, your process has, okay? It can be six. You are going to be repeating what it says in letter D and E, because it's the same that we got in letter B and C. B and C is the same as D and E. What is the difference? The difference is that it is a different step, right? So if you, are, if you have four steps, you are going to repeat the same. If you have five steps, you are going to repeat the same, right? Now, I don't know if you have questions about it. Questions? Uh-huh. Questions? Ladies and gentlemen, Okay, let me just say something then. 
Okay. I will go back here. Now I'm going to I'm going to read the instructions. Okay, for the for this activity. I will stop sharing this here. Let me just I will share uh canvas just now, okay? Uh what is canvas, 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 canvas? Okay, right here. With just one sec, it's loading. It's loading. Okay, we got this here. Okay, there we go. Reading and writing techniques. Okay, we have the activity here. Activity, illustration and process paragraph, right? Waiting, still waiting. <laughs> okay, so here are the instructions for this activity. It says number one, choose two. I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, it says choose two of the topics provided by your teacher. By your teacher, one for an illustrative paragraph and one for a process paragraph, okay? So you are going to write in total two paragraphs. One, an illustrative paragraph, and the other one, it should be a process paragraph, okay? Two paragraphs. It says, follow the guidelines on the PPT. So the guidelines are the instructions or the process that we were just talking about that I was explaining on the presentation, okay? And write one illustrative and one process paragraph. Do it in a Word document and include a professional cover page, okay? You are going to include a professional cover page first and then an illustrative paragraph and then a process paragraph. What are you going to write about? You are going to select, you are going to choose one of these topics. This is for a process paragraph, okay? Remember that a process paragraph is a how-to process, right? It's a how-to process. So how to end the relationship, how to kick a bad habit, how to lose weight, how to study for an exam, how to dress to dress up properly. Okay? So those are the five topics that you got there. You are going to select one, the one that you prefer. Okay? And that's the same for the illustrative paragraph. It says the best ways to save money, the best way to ask someone to someone out on a date useful studying habits for a student, the best ways to maintain, the best ways to maintain a relationship, a school pranking and its consequences. Okay, that is the illustrative paragraph. It says note is the 10% out of the 30% for the first lap, second period. Okay, now I explained all of that. I don't know if you have questions just now. Do you have questions? Questions? I get it now. Okay. Let me see. Uh, okay, now let me tell you something, right? Que ahorita, ahorita me tengo ahí algunas de ustedes me faltan del periodo 1, dos semanas que calificar. Creo que la semana 4 y el parcial. ¿Ya? Ahora, eso, porque sí he estado bien apretado con un montón de cosas, porque también trabajo en un instituto y pues... Ahí tengo un montón de estudiantes también, hay que calificarles cosas, etcétera, y preparar clases, etcétera. Igual, eh, yo voy a, voy a, bueno, no voy a tratar, porque tengo que, sus notas ya ustedes las van a poder ver este sábado, ya, en el, en el sistema. Ya en el sistema ustedes van a poder ver sus notas el sábado. Voy a tratar de que sea para, por la mañana, pero a más tardar va a ser por la tarde. Ya notas generales terminadas este sábado, ok entonces ahí nada más la, la disculpa ¿verdad? porque sí, me ha atrasado bastante porque tengo un montón que calificar ¿ya? pero de hecho al terminar la conferencia voy a dar otra conferencia y luego voy a ponerme a calificar para salir de tiempo, así de que ahí discúlpenme por eso, pero sí el sábado ya ustedes van a tener sus notas en el sistema, ok y bueno, no sé si tienen questions ahora sí, si no, eso sería todo ajá Serían Rachel. dos archivos que entregaríamos esta, la, de esta semana, ¿verdad? 
No, ratio. Sería un solo no. archivo. Ah. En, el, en el archivo, ustedes van a poner una carátula y luego van a escribirme un process paragraph. Eh, van, a, van a seleccionar uno de los cinco temas que les he dado. Van a escribir un process paragraph siguiendo las instrucciones que ya les expliqué. Y luego van a, van a escribir ahí mismo, en ese mismo documento de Word, hacia abajito, le van a poner ahí este Illustration Paragraph y van a escribirme el, el Illustrative Paragraph ahí. ¿Ya? Utilizando uno también de los topics que les he dado aquí para el Illustrative Paragraph. Uh -huh. Pero va a ¿Podemos ser subirlo como PDF? Sí, pueden subirlo como PDF. Ustedes pueden, al terminarlo ya, al tenerlo revisado, pueden transformarlo en PDF y subirlo, no hay ningún problema. Eh, de hecho, ya que Milka tocó ese punto, cuando ustedes terminen eso, revisen, revisen que no, que no vayan errores de spelling, ¿ya? Alguna, revisen incluso si tal vez esto cuando lo escribí no tenía mucha coherencia, pero lo voy a arreglar de esta manera. Cuando uno vuelve a leer lo que ha escrito, uno, uno lo encuentra como, esto no me gusta cómo quedó, lo voy a escribir lo mismo, pero de esta manera que hace más sentido. Entonces, siempre revisen. Ya, más que todo por eso de errores de spelling. Hay varios trabajos que me vienen con errores de spelling y por eso les quito puntos, porque ustedes tienen que revisar que vaya bien. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Sí, exactamente. Vaya, les van a salir los párrafos, creo que un poquito grandecitos, pero obviamente ustedes traten de que sea un párrafo normal que un párrafo normal tiene entre 8 y 12 líneas, ¿ok? Creo que es suficiente para, para poder expresar todo eso. Bueno, de hecho, lo, lo que yo les he dado ahí, los ejemplos que les puse en la, en la presentación, ya poniéndolo en un documento de Word con tamaño normal de letra, que es 12, ¿ya? Una letra arial, o sea, es, salen unas 12 líneas máximo, ¿ya? Las 12 líneas máximo. Entonces, ah, y ya que se la haya, pues, ha tocado este punto también decirles que sigan el mismo formato que les he dado, aunque no se los pongo aquí otra vez el formato, pero ustedes son, siempre dejen de interlineado 1.5, tamaño 12 letra arial y pónganle sangría sigan, sigan siempre ese formato porque es, es formal pues, es formal uh -huh. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Bueno, si no hay more questions, entonces quedamos así. Si les surge alguna pregunta, escríbanme la chat, ¿ok? Y ahí estamos. Have a nice afternoon. Take care. Bye bye, Gabriela. Bye, Celaya. Ok, later. <laughs>